No, I actually can't. No. Really? You know they're going out in real life. No, it's so cute. Okay. I can't sympathize with this. For three weeks and three days. Oh, come on. No way. No, please. Let's please. unpack this. <laughs> this is what I don't get. She is so twisted. It and then it cut the we saw. I know. He's a bad influence. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Welcome back to As Seen In. This is season two, episode five. Oh my gosh. Kaylee. Not five already. You decided I know a really I, awkward I moment know, to take I, a drink. Really, I know, I knew you had to carry for me, and I was like, oh, <laughs> now I feel bad, but was, I'm thirsty. Yeah, so fine. Um, guys, episode five already. I feel like the time is flying by. It is flying by, actually. And <sighs> you and touching your mic. I just realised I've not got any lip gloss on, so my dry, my dry ass crusty lips. It's so fine. Don't worry, because next episode I'll put lip gloss on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. um, today's episode is really unique again. We're so we're we're so on it with the the in, in, innovative content. Yeah, not like no one's done this before. Yeah, yeah. What are we talking about today? We're basically just talking about TV shows and specifically Euphoria, I guess, because yeah. um, season two is out at the moment. Yeah. An annoying part of this is that we can only talk about up to what we've seen. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, which is episode six. End of episode six. Yeah. Yeah. What have you thought about it? I mean, when we say TV, I mean, we'll probably talk about our favourite TV shows yeah. in general as well. Because um, we've watched a lot over the years. I've watched so much TV. So much TV. Like, it's. I should write it down. Yeah, we should actually have a list for next time. Um, what, what are you thinking of Euphoria so far? What did yeah. you think of season one, first of all? Loved you, season one. Mm -hmm. Of course. I hadn't ever seen anything like it. And I feel like that's how a lot of people felt about it. Um, like I don't think I've ever seen anything even come close... To, why am I having a stroke? <laughs> Come close to what Euphoria was in season one. Yeah. Um, I thought it was. I just loved it. I love how like although the topics are really dark and deep, and they mm -hmm. do express them as dark and deep. Yeah. They do it in such a like pretty way. I get like, the that. Cinematography. I feel like I feel like season one was a bit more um, light. Yeah. Than season two. Season two is feeling yeah. very dark and very like challenging at yeah. some points yeah like i'm finding it not hard to watch but i'm finding it harder to watch than season yeah. one for like in season one it was quite surface level like although we found out about what was going on it was like that was the only thing we knew about them yeah now we're going into season two with all of their baggage from season one yeah and now learning all the stuff and you're like oh yeah oops do you know what i didn't realize what? that elliot was dominic fike did i don't <sighs> you also we didn't it. talk about that because no i know we didn't talk about euphoria but I didn't know he was going to be in it, but then when I watched it, I was like, why is Dominic fighting this? No, because I didn't know what he looked like. I listened oh, to his music, okay, yeah. and I was like, oh, I love his music. I'd never connected the two, and then one of his songs came on on my, like... Uh, United <laughs> One of his songs came on on my like. shuffle, like, liked songs. Yeah. And then I was on Twitter, because I follow him. I was yeah. like, wait, why is he tweeting about Euphoria? And then I clicked, and I was like, no. oh, he's in Euphoria. Yeah. He's he Elliot. He is Elliot. Yeah. I like him. I really like him. I found it funny in that scene where Rue smacked him. Yeah. Deserved, <laughs> kind of. No, to be fair, I, Elliot's like, I have such controversial opinion on Elliot at the moment. I have a very con uh, like, what, well, wait, controversial... Like, well, not controversial, as in, like, as in, I don't know if I like him or not. I feel like I liked him at first, but also, like, now looking back, actually, he's all he's done is... He's a bad influence. Uh, yeah, like, persuade Rue to keep taking drugs, yeah. knowing she almost died the night they met. Yeah. Where's your, where's your morals? Like, and he, then, like, shagging her girlfriend. You know they're going out in real life. No, it's so cute. I'm obsessed. I saw the pictures. I was like, ah! I'm And then obsessed. was it Hunter's birthday? Or one of their birthdays. I think it might have been one of them. Yeah. And they posted the when they were out to dinner. And I was yeah. like, I'm going to cry. Do you know what's annoying about that clip? The person, he like put his finger on the icing. And then it cut. And then it cut I know. before we saw. I know. It cut. And I was like, mm. they're such a fit couple. So fit. I was like watching episode, what was it, maybe five, when they yeah. were getting all sexual and stuff. When I was like, I actually ca I can't fathom the feelings I'm I feeling right now. I was watching like, <laughs> I was like, I'm turned on. <laughs> you're telling me th th that he's just gonna like lick her hand, and you're expecting no, me to feel nothing. That was that was so questionable, though. Questionable, but look where it led. No, yeah, I, they were I'm so obsessed hot. Obsessed with them. They're so obsessed hot. Obsessed with them. Very hot. Very I, sexy. But yeah, in context of the show, it's like, what the hell are you doing? Yeah, very snaky, very mean. Very snaky. Not I that it's mean, not that Rue's the best person in the world, but like, 
You're both supposed to be her friend. Yeah, and you girlfriend. don't do that. You literally don't do that. No, that's a thing you don't do. The way they were, um, like making out before Rue was when she was in the in bathroom. In the bathroom. I was like, you're so. And then to try and like play it off, they were like, oh, let's play dares. You just cheated. I don't know how you're going to make that into like some, oh, you're only true there and there. Yeah. You shut the fuck up. You're a cheat. Such cheats. And like as that horrible like episode of Five where Rue was just like off the rails. Yeah. And like, I, like, okay, thank God they finally told her mum. But you know, you're going to tell me, first of all, Jules didn't know she was on drugs. Lie. Second of all, it took Elliot until he'd cheated with Jules to come clean about Rue being a fucking addict. And then also, why did they go buy alcohol if... They didn't want Rue to drink alcohol. This pissed me off so much. Like, why were you taking a drug addict to... And then, this is what I don't get. Why did Jules claim to not know she was on drugs when Elliot literally turned around in the car and said to her, real oh, man, you shouldn't be drinking when you got... Yeah. Literally admitting that she was on yeah. like, pills. Yeah. Yeah. Jules is just a fucking idiot, I guess. I feel so bad for Jules, but at the same time, it's like come on now no i literally do but i also really don't because you just didn't have to do what you did yeah oh my god and also if you knew your girlfriend as well as you claim you did how did you not know she was taking drugs i think that's also a really interesting thing about euphoria is that every single character it has their flaws Mm -hmm. and it's kind of hard to you can have your favorites but there's no defending anyone no no (laughs) one in on that show is a perfect person but that's also really good because then it's a true reflection of real life yeah exactly no one is in real life either but yeah the yeah because everyone has their problems in that show yeah in a a lot of tv shows i feel like they there's always such a clear like good person and bad person yeah in this it's like everyone can be good and everyone can be bad yeah and that's real life yeah which i appreciate yeah and do you know whose storyline i'm really intrigued to see how it develops guess Mm, cat mine's cat out out of pure interest of her gas like gatekeep girl boss and ethan last episode no i was no as in really bad no i feel bad as in yeah i feel really bad for ethan because not you lying about having a brain yeah i was like first of all that's something you don't do I was like, surely that's. Surely I had so much hope for Cat. I know. Fucking no, who's then? Um, Cassie, because she is so twisted. I hate Cassie. I'm I sorry. I cannot stand her. Right I now. literally tried to like reason in my head with reasons that she would have been doing what she was doing, and ultimately I couldn't think of one that was valid. Do you know what annoys me Not the most? One. Where she kept saying like. Oh, but they were broken up. So for three weeks and three days <laughs> before we even had sex, like, it's like that doesn't make and? it okay. Uh, three weeks is also nothing. So, but they were still together at some point. No, just oh, sorry. On New Year's, Maddie <sighs> was spending her whole night banging on that door for Nate. Right? Okay. Hmm. Granted. Okay. Let's even. I'm not even trying to defend this, but say that was the mistake because she was very drunk. You know, they had that car ride, and then she went okay. to the bathroom. Right. Let me stop right there. I've never been drunk, so I can't. Okay. I can't sympathize with this. Is that really? No, you an know excuse? what you're doing. In my humble, humble opinion, who is definitely been drunk i just feel like you can't accidentally have sex with someone okay unless you're blackout drunk and you're being taken advantage of different okay, story don't so get different. me wrong don't so get me different. wrong but i just feel like if you're actively making that decision you have eyes even in your drunkest state of mind you have eyes. i mean i don't know if this is actually controversial or not or if other, if other people were like but i don't know if you're just trying to defend the fact you've slept with someone you didn't want to sleep with i think like, it's i don't know what i mean as i said is. i can't really talk because i've never been drunk but in from what i think it's just an excuse I feel like you can wake up and be like, oh, damn. Like I but you can't that. wake up and be like, I was, I, I, we only did that because I was drunk. Like, I just, mm. I don't know how I feel about that sentence because okay. it's like, I just don't know. Okay. I personally have been in my drunkest state of mind and still known what I was doing. Acting, mm. Like, mo- like what I was doing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I get you. Um, but anyway, yeah. So, okay, let's even just say she was at the point where she was blackout and she didn't know what she was doing. Even though she did. They had sex in the bathroom, right? And then Maddie was banging on the door. Mm-hmm. And Maddie was banging on the door the whole night, right? All night. So you know that she was like, you were broken up for three weeks and three days, whatever. Yeah. That would have mean that they'd have been broken up for three weeks at New Year's. So her banging on the door, trying to like get with Nate all yeah, night, facts. should have been your indication that Maddie's, even if she was over Nate, you don't have sex with him. But like, exactly. there was no reason for you after New Year's to continue oh. having sex with him. I just feel like there's like, you shouldn't go there anyway. Even if they were broken no. up for a year. No, I really like, agree. Like, why the hell? Like, they were together at some point. Oh, Surely that's enough of a turn off to be like, oh, let me not sleep with 
my best friend's ex. Or if you were even like having feelings for him and like you really couldn't help it, t- t- talk to her. Talk to her about it. Facts. Like, yeah, okay, sometimes you can't help you. This can help who yeah. you fall for, Taylor. But you could openly speak about it with them. Be like, Facts. either this like is never going to happen or like let's talk about it. Talk about you know it. I mean? Yeah, it's just like, ways. What the fuck? So many ways. From both of them, that's awful. But awful. for Cassie especially, Nate. we know Nate. We know Nate. And I'm not forgiving him or giving him excuses, but we know him. We know Nate. Nate, you never expect anything good from him. No, which is why in the last episode with the tape with Jules, I was like... Yeah, but then he also... But then the gun. With Maddie. The gun. Like, he threatened Maddie with a gun to get it. Also, that would turn me on. Why? Come on. No! Why? No, please. Let's please, unpack please, this. Please, please. Let's unpack okay, this. Okay, the action why? itself wasn't nice. So you're telling me... <laughs> Kaylee, you're telling me if someone came up to you with a gun, you'd be turned on? Kind of. Hmm. No, okay. Let's put it into perspective. What perspective it's, is there to put it in? Okay, no, 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 okay, no, okay, no. <laughs> the actual situation, if I was Maddie, obviously I wouldn't be turned on, but like kind of watching it, I was like, okay. this has potential to be really hot. <laughs> I don't agree. No, but I don't know how to explain it. I was, I Maybe was, if it was like a consensual, like, oh, like role like play. A, Do you know what I mean? Where it's like, I'm gonna fucking, like. No. No? <laughs> <laughs> no? Okay. Like no, it's no not bullet. like being blind. No, but you know what I did find hot was well, no, I, hot is the wrong word because that makes me sound awful, and you, I obviously don't condone not this. Not having a murder kink. No, but like, you know when he was like, ha, like just joking that we're no bullets. I was like, yeah, no, no, like obviously traumatizing, but like the game, the game. No, because I saw him take the bullets out, but yeah. then when he continued to do it, I, was I like, thought oh. he put one back in maybe. Yeah. And when I heard the sound, it was making me flinch each time. There was nothing enjoyable watching that for me. I was. <laughs> I really I want believe. to agree. I want to agree so bad because he was. He's evil and he's doing the most. No, literally, like something is wrong. He needs to go to therapy. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm not all denying do. that. They all do. They, all do. they group therapy together. Yeah, that would be. Ha- that would be a that good would episode. Be really, really handy. Them all just like chilling in a yeah. like meeting. Who do you think would walk out of group therapy first? Rue. Rue, absolutely. And then After Rue, though, okay, let's do a list. I think Rue would leave first, and then I think Nate. I don't know, because I think he's a nosy fuck, and I think mm. he would want to know what everyone was going through. I That's think he'd want to know be everyone's business. Leave, maybe. Yeah, I think he'd literally just be... I nothing. actually think he'd be silent, yeah, yeah and just yeah. listen. Okay. Because I think he's, like, he needs to know everyone's business. He thrives on, like, messing shit up, and if he knows everything, he can do that easily. So maybe Jules would follow Rue. 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 Right. Yeah, because I feel like Jules would only really be there for the sake of her and Rue. So if yeah. Rue left, it'd be like, all right, see ya. So Jules would follow Rue and then Elliot would follow Jules. Yeah, okay. Them three gone. That's Absolutely gone. gone. No, mine too. Okay. Are we getting the same oh, notifications? No, because mine's oh. a different group chat. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so those three, they're gone. Yeah. And then I think Kat, because she's like, what the fuck am I doing? Oh, here? she, yeah, she'd put up a fight. Yeah. She'd try for a good two minutes. I yeah. feel like she'd be like, my life is so sad and hard. And I hate yeah. Ethan. He's a fucking good yeah. boyfriend, but I hate him. And then yeah. she'd leave. Yeah. She'd be like, I'm done. I'm cured. Yeah. Um, I think Maddie, Cassie and Nate then would be the last to leave. They would be I really, there. Yeah, I really think Maddie would want to try. And I really think Cassie would want to try. And I really think Nate would stay to the end. Yeah. So I, it's hard to know who would leave out of them. They'd be on like a standoff. Yeah, literally so the three, three Spider-Men. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, so literally, yeah. Yo. They're all in the same year as well, aren't they? This? Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. Those three are all like the older ones, and everyone else is the below. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, Fez. you know. Oh, Lexi, you forgot about her. Sorry, Lexi. Oh, her and her little. Play. She would stay. She would stay. Her and Fez. Can we just talk about them for a sec? <laughs> I'm in love. When they were singing "Stand by Me," I was. She. I had tears, I had tears in my eyes. Tears. I have tears. never wanted. It's the literally good girl drug dealer. But you know what? And I, know, I, you haven't watched the promo for the next episode, right? No, I don't watch the promos. Oh, so you don't always talk, talk, talk to you about the promo? Talk to me about it. Really? Yeah, might as well. I mean, there's no. Sp- I find this with the promos. It's in the promo. They're really good with not spoiling things in the promos. Yeah. They just like everything you see. I just don't trust it. You can't link anything. Exactly. Together. Okay, yeah. but I'll tell you because it's Les and Fexy. Les and Fexy. Les and Fexy. Yeah. Okay. So basically, <laughs> he buys her flowers. No, oh, I actually call it no. Really? But we never see him give them to her. Uh, so, okay, we see him in front of a mirror and he's got flowers. It says Lexi on them. So, hopefully, she's not Perfect. dead. Yeah. And well, he's got flowers for her and they're on the phone. And oh. she's like, Are you coming to my play? And he's oh, like, The play's already. It's in the next one, I think. Oh. Or at least it's going to like lead up to it. And then he goes, 
I'm in the front row or something. That's how he speaks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know, Lexi. I don't know, Lexi. I'm yeah. gonna be in the front row. Damn it. Yeah, well, you know he's so like that in real life. Well, he's literally playing himself. He's he is Fez. Yeah. No, Fez is him. Yeah. Like Angus. Um, I like the name Angus. Such a hot name. I Angus. think just because of Angus Thongs and Perfect Smile. Oh. Why? Angus being the cat makes it a little bit oh, off-putting. Forgot but that. it's okay. Yeah. I just like the name Angus. I think it's a cool name. Yeah, it's a cool name. Um, Angus Cloud. Such a sick name. Yeah. So, f- so is that his real name? Cloud? Yeah. I, well, I don't know about that. Anyway. But maybe. Maybe. You never know. Yeah, but so he bought her flowers and then he says he's going to be in the front row. And then the next fucking shot is an empty seat at the thing. So I think the police are going to get him because of the whole, you know, with the last episode we had Faye and the boy snitching saying they're going to come for Ashtray and Furs. I literally think that he gets ready to go to her play and then he gets caught by the police. And I think either Fez is going to take the fourth Ashtray for killing Mouse. Who's Mouse again? The big drug dealer oh, that yeah, killed yeah, episode yeah. one. Yeah. Or we're going to think that and then Ashtray all of a sudden is going to be like, admit to all of it. I don't know what's going to happen though. And I want to be wrong. I want that seat to just be filled by fairs. I want it to just be like a little like teaser. Yeah. But the fuck are you? Are you actually going to like let them hold hands and then not? I thought they were going to kiss or something. I was hoping for that. But I like the slow burn. Yeah, the slow burn is like nice. I don't. But for them, it's like it just works. I like. Li- I don't know. Sometimes I like the slow burn, and sometimes I like the all in. No, love because then bomb. I feel like as soon as you go all in, something's going to go wrong. Yeah, I mean, something can go wrong with the slow burn too, though. No, I tr- I know, but, but like... But it's less likely. I just... It's just, like... I know, I know. I just want them to, like, be happy. So happy. She can change him. <laughs> no one can change anyone. <laughs> I've learned anything. No, I know. No, literally, no one can change it. Like, at the end of the day, everyone's going to, like, be them, like, their true, honest, authentic self, no matter how they try and change someone. Exactly. You're going to fall back into... Exactly. But, you know, maybe so, Lexi, maybe she'll be the first. I, what do you think of the good girl, bad boy? Um, I like a bad, bad boy. <laughs> Jingle bell, are you ready? <laughs> I love that meme. <laughs> Miss Jessie. What do you think of the good girl, mm. bad boy trope? Because I feel like at some point in everyone, every girl's life, there's some attraction to the oh, bad I guy. Oh, I actually love it. Okay, voice break. Sorry, prepubescent thirteen-year-old boy. <laughs> um, I love it. The books I read a lot of the time. That is the like tropes that I seem to go yeah. for. Uh, if anyone does read, um, the A Court of Thorn and Roses series is like that. Okay. So, period. <laughs> period slay. Honestly, I I like it too. Okay. I feel like I had my phase of being obsessed with like <sighs> bad guys, but I name one bad guy. Harry Styles. No, like in real life. <laughs> oh, you mean like actually men? Like actually people I actually know and interact with. Okay. But now obviously that's okay. not the case. Okay. I had my face. Do you uh, get me? Yeah, but I would still do it. Yeah. Ever no, know I, I get you. Nothing against it. I get you. But yeah, those are my euphoria thoughts. I'm so really sure. how many episodes are there in the season? T- eight or ten. We have such a short amount of time left. So why don't we do a quick f- top five favorite TV shows? And that's pressure because I don't think I, I'm going to even answer the truth. Okay, yeah, this is this is going to change. But Gossip Girl, Vampire Diaries. Um, those are my top two. Okay. I actually can't even put... Okay, Vampire Diaries, yeah, f- normal people. Okay. I do really love Fleabag. I might have to put Fleabag in there. Okay. Sorry, everyone. Okay. But I've watched so many. Like, I don't even know what else I'd say. I've 90210. Okay. Oh my gosh, so scary. Scary. I know. Yeah. The the new one with like I don't know, the younger people. Like not the original yeah, 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 yeah. one. So get you. Which is so controversial because you see the way we grew up with like OG Gossip Girl mm-hmm. and now the young ones are growing I up know. with the new Gossip Girl when it's like not I as just good. can't believe I need them to just watch the original. Yeah, I hope that's not what it's like with 90210. Like I hope we didn't watch the bad version. Yeah. But it was amazing. Yeah. I'm gonna say 90210, maybe Gilmore Girls, but I wouldn't rewatch Gilmore Girls. I found Gilmore Girls so boring. I liked it. I liked mainly because of the references to Gossip Girl. Yeah. Well, Gossip Girl referenced yeah. Gilmore Girls. Yeah. Friends. Yeah. But that's not but like a not like TV show. That's like a. That's just like a comfort show. How to Get Away with Murder is really good. I'm in the middle of watching it, so yeah, I'm on season three. I don't know if I had more time. Maybe we'll carry it over into the next episode. Yeah. Okay. We'll start off with more. Or we'll do another but, yeah. episode and we'll talk more about our favorite TV shows. Yeah. I would love to do a big, fat, fucking deep dive on Vampire Diaries. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Let us know if you want us to talk about Vampire Diaries more because we've both watched it a number of times now 
and pff, legendary. Uh, literally the best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> so amazing. But yeah, anyway, <laughs> comment down below your fo- your thoughts on Euphoria. What you think is going to happen in the next episodes? Yeah, let us know. Let us know your thoughts on Euphoria. What you think about it? Um, yeah, and stay tuned for the next episode. And we'll when we'll come back and revisit Euphoria when it's finished. Oh, absolutely. But yeah. At the Euphoria and more TV shows, of yeah. course. Uh, duh. Of course, of duh. course. But yeah, thank you so much for listening. We'll catch you next time on Asuna.